What can Europe learn from the United States shale gas experience? Well, we had a fascinating seminar just now, and I think what we learned is that it's been a huge success in the United States. It's mm -hmm. brought down the cost of energy, which in turn has generated more manufacturing jobs. It has actually brought down CO2 emissions because um, uh, gas is replacing coal as, a, as, a, as an energy source. Um, and of course, it's generated a lot of um, well-paid jobs for working people, which is something mm -hmm. all politicians mm -hmm. are acutely aware of the need for at the moment. Balanced against that, there are some risks, and I think we've got to be upfront about this. People have got concerns about the chemicals, the amount of water used, um, the, the, there is a fear of earthquakes. Um, so we need to we need to look at those risks as well. But I think any politician faced with uh, the recession that we have at the moment in Europe, all of us have a duty to think about jobs, about ways of generating um, uh, of generating jobs and revenue for government. And so we'd be crazy to ignore this. For Europe, what are the challenges uh, to adopt this uh, shale gas? Well, I think there, there are a lot of legislative mm. challenges. I mean, it's mm. banned at the moment in France anyway, um, although I believe the French government are now looking at it. The Germans are, um, are, are looking at um, energy themselves at the moment. Mm. They perhaps are running into problems with the amount of renewables that they're using. Um, Spain is spending more on renewable energy subsidies than it does on higher education. So all of these, all of these countries and more are, are going to have to look at other forms of energy. And if it's right there underneath our feet, and if the risks are actually very low, uh, then I think we have to consider going ahead with it. But we do have to make sure there are no risks or minimal amount of risks um, that the public are safe and the public have to be reassured because a perceived risk is almost as bad as, um, as a real risk. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.